The Birds and the Bees Talk with Your Kids takes on a new chapter. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Megan Christine Kovacs. She is a Prevention and Education Subcommittee Co-Chair for the Oregon Attorney General's Sexual Assault Task Force. Thanks so much for being with us. I Thanks appreciate so it. We, we just me. had a, an amazing conversation. And first, first things first, tell me a little bit about what you do a, as a member and as a co-chair of this committee. So the Oregon Attorney General Sexual Assault Task Force is a multidisciplinary body of people who have a vested interest in solving the problem of sexual violence in Oregon by supporting survivors um, through you know, engagement with law enforcement, through victim service providers, and what I do, sitting on the Prevention and Education Com Committee, um, is addressing the sociocultural norms that allow for violence to happen. So how can we change the culture that we live in to stop and prevent domestic violence or and sexual violence? We've been trying to changed this culture since the 60s in, in my mind. That's, that's what, 50 years? I would say maybe we've been trying to change it for longer than that. Yeah, I mean, longer than yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, look at, you know, the suffragettes, women trying to get mm -hmm. the right to vote. This has been an ongoing endeavor. But the key word there is trying. Mm -hmm. have, we, have we made any ground? I would say we've made huge strides in, you know, promoting gender equality and equity in um, the way that we think about equality and equity in our culture. I think we still have a lot further to go, but I would say there has been a lot of success. Where does it need to begin? Because you talk about Madison Avenue and the way they market towards people, and it's still not the way it needs to be, but you've got women in Madison Avenue uh, as well as men. So mm -hmm. where does it all begin in changing uh, the, the so-called norms? It, change, it starts with every one of us. You know, it starts with you and I. Um, it starts with, you know, we're having this conversation right now because, you know, we, are, we need to be having this conversation right now. Um, but this happens on every level of our culture, right? This happens on an individual level and changes, you know, ideas between people. This changes, this needs to happen on a community level, you know, where the community buys into and starts talking about how we need to change things. And then, you know, that can filter into talking about it on the media. I mean, we're, you know, engaged with media right now. We're having this conversation on the news. Um, this is how we change things, is by having these conversations on every level so that um, we know that the norms that exist in our culture, we you know, analyze them and deconstruct the ones that aren't helping us anymore, that aren't useful to us anymore. So sexual education, has it changed over the years and how has it changed? Absolutely. I mean, I went to Catholic school um, and our sex ed was don't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and now I, you know, work in Oregon and I see the, um, you know, really progressive policy we have in Oregon around, um, you know, sexual health education and promotion of, you know, healthy, healthy sexuality, really. How we, you know, are looking at all of the things that need to be included so that we can teach kids, you know, what it means to not only say no, what it means to say yes, what that looks like, and, you know, how we can create a healthier and safer community for everyone. So are we teaching uh, kids to say, or to, everything's cool until you hear the word no. Is that the way to teach it? That's not the way to teach it. I think that that traditionally has been the way that we have uh, talked about sexual health and talked about you know, when someone is, in, when you're in, in a relationship and interested in having sex, that you know, we've, we've set sex up as a conquest and as a zero sum game where you, know, you can do what you want until that other person says right. stop, right? And we really need to flip that conversation on its head and talk about what it means to get consent what it means to ask for a yes, what it means to respect your partner enough to care to get a yes. You know, you were telling me that you go in and talk to classrooms and you see change, and I guess that's, uh, that's what you can hope for, and that's why you do what you do. Thank you so much, uh, Megan Christine Kovacs, for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. We want to thank you for being here as well. From the campus of Linfield College in McMinnville, Oregon, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day, everyone.